people with you on a topic that's vitally important to entrepreneurship and business. I was, I, I was first introduced to this concept by one of my mentors. He, he told me, if you learn how to speak effectively, you never have to worry about making money for the rest of your life. And then I started listening to Jim Rohn, and Jim Rohn, who's a personal development giant, he was always talking about how to be a more effective communicator. And everything we do inside of network marketing has to do with communication. We reach out and connect with people. We build relationships with people. We, we invite people to take a look. We educate people on what we have. We help people with objections and, and, and answering questions. We help them get started effectively. Everything we do, promotion, uh, building relationships with our team, it's all built around this fundamental communication and presentation skill set. As a matter of fact, I've, I'm fortunate now to be one of the highest paid speakers in the world. And two gentlemen that are so good at communication, they coach some of the biggest speakers in the world. Um, and we hired them, Maureen and I have hired them, to help us be more effective. And I asked, uh, Pat came to our home, who you'll meet in a moment, Pat Quinn, uh, and gave us some coaching on how we could be more effective with an event that we had coming up. Uh, Pete came to our home for our Next Level Mastermind event and did a presentation for our Next Level Mastermind, Six Figure Earners and Above, uh, at our home, blew everybody away. Um, some of those people decided to work with them more closely, with Pete and Pat more closely, in a workshop setting, and they raved about it. I've never seen anybody rave about their results more than this group. And these, these are pretty, you know, I'm not saying they're cynical, but these are seven-figure earners in network marketing, so they're not easily impressed, right? And they're like, oh my gosh, this is unbelievable. And then we had Pete come on to our uh, GoPro World Tour about a month ago, April 7th. And uh, the, the feedback that we got after that event, we had Tony Robbins, we had you know, Les Brown, and you know, pretty powerful communicators, a big, huge lineup. But everybody's talking about Pete, 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 Pete afterwards. So when that was all done, I just said you know, to, to Pete and to Pat, I said, this is such a big topic. This is so important. Would you be willing to do a training, online training experience for the network marketing? You would. And it's been great. It's like 30,000 people have registered for this event right now. I'm excited. If you're in and you're watching, you, know, you should consider yourself fortunate because they're going to deliver some incredible content. So um, with no further ado, I want to introduce you to Pete Vargas and Pat Quinn. Pete and Pat, are you guys there? We are. We are. Yes, I am. Hey, good to see you. Good to see you. I will uh, drop off. You guys can do your thing, and I'm going to be sitting here taking notes. So, uh, yeah, gentlemen, take it from there. It's exciting, Eric. Yeah, we'll see you on the back end of the training today. So, hey, guys, excited to be here with you today. Pete Vargas. I want to jump right into it, and we're going to bring Pat back on here in just a second, but I'm excited about the title of this talk today, The Proven Method to Exponentially Grow Your Network Marketing Business, and actually how to use communication and stages. And so, guys, if you can bring that up um, on the screen, that would be incredible. Um, and really, really excited to present this to you guys today um, around uh, just how to become a powerful communicator. And so the things that we're gonna cover, um, the things that we're gonna cover are 
Um, guys, and you have my feed, I think, correct? Over, yeah, there we go. We're gonna cover how to, how to communicate and never feel salesy. This is really, really important. We're gonna, we're gonna communicate the three deadly sins that a lot of network marketers make. And I talked about this on the World Pro, uh, Pro Tour, but I'm gonna go a little bit deeper into this. I'm so excited because Pat's gonna show you the greatest marketing tool that you have for you and your t entire team to use. And I'm also gonna show you how to use digital and virtual in today's market. Like how do you actually leverage this opportunity you have? And here's the crazy thing. I believe there are 11 strategies that most network marketers aren't using that I'm, incur I'm excited to he help you understand how to use. We're gonna talk about the number one strategy to get 80% of people to opt in, wanting to know more about what you do. And I'm telling you, by the time we're all done, you're going to see how to exponentially increase distributors and customers into your businesses. And so Eric, Pat, and I, uh, we're, Pat and I are gonna teach today, but on the back end, we're gonna cover a lot of Q&A on the back end, a lot of coaching. So I'm excited to be here because I truly believe your message matters. I believe there has never been a greater time in the history of this profession than right now. And not just an opportuni opportunistic time, but a time to serve and a time to help so many people with your message. And so I'm excited about that. My name is Pete Vargas. This is my beautiful wife right here, Kim, my son right here, Keaton, um, and my beautiful family. And this is this, this right here is the most important slide for me personally. The next one is gonna be probably the most important one for you out of the entire presentation. That's my beautiful family. We adopted our three oldest kids that you see in the screen right there, Keaton, uh, Mia and Emma. We had a miracle baby a year ago. My wife got pregnant for the very first time in 18 years of, of pregnancy. But the girl, the little baby girl that you see at my, the foot of my, of my feet right there is my baby Emma. And Emma was born at 1.3 pounds, 23 weeks. Her twin sister died right away. She was born, her mom was a drug druggie, and Emma was in ICU all by herself for five months. She went into the foster system when she was five months old and was told she would not live to be a year old. And we got the opportunity to meet this sweet girl when she was 10 months old, 11 months old. And my wife and I met her. And here's what I want you to know. The doctors told us every reason why we shouldn't adopt Emma. She will never walk. She'll never talk. She'll never be normal. Um, she probably won't make it to be a year old. She's, she's on oxygen 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And my wife looked at those doctors and didn't listen to that noise. My wife said, we're going to adopt this baby girl. And we adopted Emma. And my wife every night spoke these words into her life. She said, you are clothed with strength and dignity. And you laugh without fear of the future. And she spoke it every night to Emma until Emma started speaking it back to her. And today, Emma's running, she's walking, she's talking, she's completely normal because of the power that my wife had to speak life into my baby girl. And what I want you guys to know is that right now, in this day and time, people feel hopeless. People are losing their jobs. It's only going to continue, I believe, to get worse. The amount of companies that filed bankruptcy in the last week, major companies, filing bankruptcy. There will be a greater amount of people that are feeling hopeless, feeling lost, feeling like they need life. And today, if you choose to implement what Pat and I are going to teach you, you will have the words and the power to speak unlike most other people, because most other people aren't gonna be empathetic. They're gonna to try to go for the short, you know, the quick kill or opportun opportunistic mindset. And it might work in the short game, but it's not gonna work in the long game. And so I'm committed today. We have helped our students since 2008 get their message out in front of 47,000 stages, impacting millions of people. And we're committed to helping our students get on a million stages 
by 2027. And today I'm inviting you into those stages and those stages will make a lot more sense here in just a minute. So here's why I love stages. I just wanna give you a little bit of backstory of why I love stages and why I love the power of speaking and the power of communication, especially in this profession, the network marketing profession. You see, I, I grew up with a, a mom and a dad, terrible relationship with my mom and dad. My dad took me um, away um, my mom and dad at an early age got divorced and I ended up living with my dad and through elementary years, extremely abusive, physically, mentally, verbally did things to me that no kid should have to go through. And finally enough was enough. And my grandmother took me away from my dad when I was in sixth grade because of the things that he was doing to me. And my dad came back into my life when I was maybe in junior high. And I thought, you know, just like everybody who maybe comes from a broken relationship with the family member, I thought, man, what can I do to make things right with my dad? So I tried everything. I tried church. I tried counseling. Um, his seven siblings constantly told him that he needed to make things right with me. And nothing worked. Nothing worked. My dad was too prideful, too arrogant. And I, was, I felt like I was never going to get that yes or never get that I'm sorry. Like I've never, I was never going to get the I'm sorry or the... I love you and I apologize for what I did. And so I kind of had given up on that relationship completely and went to college. For any of you out there, I thought I was going to be the next Jerry Maguire. Show me the money. Like, listen, by the end of this presentation, there's going to be strategies that every single person watching, whether you're new to your company, you've been around for a little bit, or you've been around for a long time in your company, you are going to have this um, in stillness, this, this expertise, this knowledge that allows you to grow exponentially. That's my belief and that's, that's what I believe today. And so I wanted to go represent athletes and I quickly realized that um, A, I don't have the money to go to law school. I was about to not even be able to afford to be in school because of my freshman year. So my freshman year, I gave up on this dream because I realized that I needed to go to law school. And something tragic had just happened to me in my freshman year. Not tragic, but something tough had just happened to me in my freshman year. You see, when I went off to college, my dad tried to make some things amended. He didn't tell me he's sorry. He didn't tell me he loved me, but he bought me a car. He bought me a Toyota Corolla. And I, got, I went to school on a tennis scholarship. I was barely making ends meet. I had my car. I had to cover my college on my own. My grandmother helped me cover college. And my freshman year in college, my freshman year in college, I walked outside to go to tennis practice and I realized that my, toy, my Toyota Corolla had been repossessed. My dad hadn't made the payments. My dad's way of trying to amend things just deepened the hurt and pain that I had for my dad. And I'm grateful that I came across one person from my church who introduced me to this profession, who introduced me to network marketing. Because my freshman year in college, I got introduced to network marketing. And that allowed me to not just get a new car, but it allowed me to get through college being one of the only ones at the time, a very handful of people in my family, family's lineage to graduate college. And I'm telling you, it's because of network marketing that I was able to make a whole lot more than my professors that were teaching me about business. This profession was how I got my launch and my start. It's how I started my business. It's how I was able to get another car. It's how I was able to get through college without any help from any family except from my grandmother. Nobody was helping me. And I'm so grateful because you guys have an opportunity to not just forget the college. People are losing things, maybe not their homes yet, but there's hurt and there's pain and there's problems in our world. And this industry is the quickest industry to help turn things around. This profession is a profession that can completely change the game for not thousands, not tens of thousands, but millions of people from all across the world. I'm gonna go back on the chat later and I wanna know who's here from all across the world. I'm gonna go check out the chat later whenever we're taking some questions at the end, but that's the power you have. 
And I'm so grateful to that lady who introduced me to the profession. And so I graduated with college with a business degree. I got through college because of the money that I made in my network marketing business. And I graduated from school four years later, actually five years, took me five years to graduate. And I had a great business job in Dallas, Texas. I usually don't share this, but somebody that was in my upline, somebody that was one of my team leaders uh, had started a company and he offered me an incredible job in Dallas because of what his experience of me was in his, in his downline. And I was very grateful. I was about to accept that job. And then I got the call from my pastor in Texas. And he said, we want you to come back and take over as youth pastor in Hereford, Texas. And I was like, seventy, eighty thousand $80,000 a year, $18,000 a year. Uh, I don't think so. Why do you want me to come back and take over? And he said, well, because I know what you will do to serve kids. I know that our, our, youth is, our youth is struggling. And I know that you'll come in here and you'll actually serve kids and love on them. And there was no way I was going to go back. I, was, I just did the math in my head. It was like, no way, this doesn't make sense. And really for the first time in my life, I made a decision that wasn't based just strictly on the financials, but what I was feeling called to do. And I went back and I took over as youth pastor at this small little West Texas town in Hereford, Texas, Hereford Church of the Nazarene. And and he told me there were only dozens of kids in that youth group. And when I was there, there were 80 kids in the youth group. So the youth group had decreased significantly. And my first Wednesday night, when I walked in there to share my first message and communicate, and I was scared to death to communicate, and many of you out there might feel that way or might feel like, how do I communicate more powerfully? I promise you by the end of the time today, you will understand what it takes to be a communicator that's in the top 2% of communicators in the world. And it is the most valuable skill. Warren Buffett said it's the most valuable skill that you can have in your business. And I showed up that first Wednesday night and there were three girls in the youth group. And I told those three girls, we're going to change this community and I'm going to bring in powerful speakers. And I brought in powerful speakers that nobody knew. Many would call them best kept secrets. I brought in network marketers. I brought in financial advisors and health and wellness experts and CEOs. And I brought in lots of folks because I wanted my kids to holistically be healthy. And every speaker that I brought in, our youth group grew. And what I want you to know after today's training, every time you talk about your company, you're going to talk about it differently. Every time you talk about your company, your business will grow. Every time. If if implemented correctly, what we teach you, you will begin to see exponential growth. Our youth group grew so much, it grew from three kids to 800 kids in a town of 14,597 people because of powerful messengers who were best kept secrets that came in and transformed our community and our kids. Those three girls that you see there, Mackenzie, Jory, and Stacy, I actually officiated two out of their three weddings Two out of their three weddings. When the third one gets married, I'll officiate their wedding. For over a year, I I would say, hey, I married two out of those three girls right there. And nobody in the crowd would make me aware of what I just said. And people would chuckle. And I'm like, my wife said, Pete, you 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 can't say you married two out of those three girls. You got to say you officiated their weddings. And so I've officiated two out of their three weddings because those girls saw the vision I gave to them that we would grow this youth group and we didn't just grow it. It was one of the largest youth groups per capita in the world. And what I'm telling you today, buy in to what we're about to teach you. You don't have to buy in now, but buy in by the time we're done teaching, you take what we teach you today and you too will see massive growth. And so the last part of the story is that this gentleman came in. He was about the 25th speaker that I brought in. His daughter was the first girl killed at Columbine back in 1999. Her name was Rachel Joy Scott. 
He was a best kept secret. And I know a lot of you feel like, man, I'm a best kept secret. And if I could just get my message out there, that's how he felt. That's how many of the speakers that came into my town felt. And his daughter left him with six diaries. And she wrote a paper called My Ethics, My Codes of Life that she wrote one month before she's killed. That's actually the Hearst picture right there, the year that she was killed in the background right there. And he came and he, one of my mentors said, you got to bring him in to speak. And he came to speak. And he talked about how his daughter lived the life of compassion and kindness. She believed that compassion and kindness, if people would implement that into their lives, that if they would reach out to one person, that it could change the world. And that's how she lived her life. And so as he came to tell her story in Hereford, Texas, one evening, and there were a thousand people in this auditorium, but only one of them mattered to me. And it was the man sitting on the back seat, which was my dad. And my dad heard him share his daughter's story. And at the end of that presentation, he said, parents, I want you to go tell your kids tonight how much you love them because you have no idea how long they will be here with you. And some of you parents need to go ask your kids for forgiveness because you've done something wrong. And my dad didn't say a word that night, but my dad went home that night, contemplated what he had heard. A few weeks later, I got a letter in the mail and said, I'm sorry for the father I've been. Here my son is having an impact on hundreds of kids' lives, and I can't have an impact on my only son's life. I'm asking you for a second chance to do things right. And he told me for the first time in over a decade, multiple times, that he loved me. And that was the night, that was the day subconsciously that I dedicated my life to helping powerful folks who are making a difference in the lives of people understand not just how to communicate their message just powerfully, because I had just seen what happened on that stage, but also make sure that that message gets in front of more people so they're not just communicating it in their mirror or practicing in role playing, but they're actually getting it out in front of a whole lot more people. That was the day because of this man changing my life and my dad's life. You see over the course of the last 20 years, I'm proud uh, on your screen, you can see I'm proud to say that we are responsible for booking over 25,000 stages across the world, including the White House, including Oprah, but thousands upon thousands of digital stages, which you will understand better today. And those stages generating tens of millions of dollars of products and services, events, customers. What does that mean? More distributors, more customers, more folks at your company events, more folks at your team events. That's what it means. And so I'm grateful because today we're gonna share, these are just four of the folks that you know maybe some of them, but these are just four of the folks that have talked how much our training has not just transformed them, but transformed their teams. You see, today's not just about you. Today's about your current team and your future team. Because I believe your future team is about to grow significantly. And so I'm excited because I get to serve now a profession that changed my life. And yes, it's really cool. We've worked with some of the biggest names on planet Earth, as you can see right here. We've worked with some of the biggest names on planet Earth. These are customers of ours. They're customers of ours. And we sign an incredible partnership deal with Dean and Tony. And today I get the opportunity to interview Tony for an hour, which is phenomenal. And so we've worked with some of the greatest. And when I say some of the greatest, I'm even talking about this power couple right here that you see that I always tease Mr. Worry that he did marry up. But we get the opportunity to even work with Eric and Marina, who we love, and we've we've helped them out with their events, with their talks, with their communication, with their strategy. But I'm telling you who Pat Quinn and I get really, really excited about are the thousands of students that we work with that might not feel like a household name, but know that they have something powerful that they want to get out there on a bigger scale. That's who we get excited to work with. 
And so, yes, our company over 13 years booked 25,000 stages. But since we've taken this training into the market, in one year, our students booked almost two times the amount of stages that took us 13 years to do. That's the beauty when you work with the best is the compression of time. And so today y'all's message matters. And today what we're gonna talk about are these three pieces to helping each and every one of you um, get your message out there on a bigger scale. We're gonna help you understand how do I communicate better? How do I communicate better? How can I help my team communicate better? How can I rely and know with consistency and predictability that duplication is gonna happen in my organization? You will have that unlike any other time you've ever had that. Because our students have higher conversion than anybody else I know in our industry. And that will be the same in, in your profession, in your industry. But then we've got to understand, okay, I don't want you just communicating in front of a mirror. How do you actually get out in front of more people? That's the second piece we're going to teach you today, how to get the message that now becomes powerful out in front of more people. And then the third piece of that is how do we scale that to make sure that all of our businesses grow? This is what we're going to teach you for the next 40 to 45 minutes. And I'm so excited to do that. And this quote, I don't think Eric and Marina have seen this quote, but I think this quote is important for all of you. I was in Grant Cardone's office maybe two years ago, and after he heard me teach what I'm about to teach all of you, this is what he said. He said, if you want to get your ideas to the market, you have to be a speaker. Pete's the authority on stages, whether online or in person. He said, this method could scale your business without stealing your life away. After I heard Pete talk about this methodology, I let him know that I probably left hundreds of millions of dollars on the table. Today is dedicated to making sure that you do not leave any more impact nor any more income on the table. And so this is where I wanna to begin today with the training. Before I bring on Pat Quinn in, in about two minutes, three minutes, I want you to know that each one of you have a story and your story is connected back to the company that you're a part of today. And you got a beautiful story. But as I said on, on GoPro's world tour, you might be telling the story in one of three ways that is significantly hurting you today. And the way that I want you to tell your story is the way that Maya Angelou talks about people will forget what you said, people will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. One year ago, Pat Quinn and I are in Miami, Florida, where we, Grant Cardone has licensed our content, some of our content, the content that we're training you on today, he licensed it because of the impact that he saw that it's having. And we're doing a workshop. And a young lady comes up there. And I want you to avoid these C's today. Get these C's out of your mind. In this market and this time, these C's hurt you. They hurt you. And I know these three C's because I experienced in my time in the profession, people who did these. So the first C, the story that I would tell you is this young lady gets out in front. We have 30 people, maybe 40, 25 to 40 people in a room. And we tell them in one minute to introduce themselves. And she starts out with, what if I could tell you a way that you could lose weight and make money? Wall up immediately network marketing I know it and she got done with her one minute introduction and I didn't stop anybody else but because I actually care about this profession because of what it's given to me I paused for a minute and I said are you in a network marketing company she said yeah how did you know I said how did I not know and I didn't say that just for the record, but I thought it. And I said, do you know how you made me feel right there? 
She said, no, I have no idea. I said, my guards went up immediately and my protection mechanism kicked into gear. And I said, nope, don't want to hear anything else she has to say, literally shut down. That's what the real world is experiencing. And I didn't know this was going to happen, but every single person in the room said, me too. I'm like, no, I didn't want you guys to do that. And by the end of the day, after Pat Quinn had worked with her, she came back up there. She told her story. She moved people. And by the end of the day, the way that she was communicating, I would have done business with her all day long. Because she was no longer living in what I call the first deadly sea, which is the cheesy bucket. You do not be the cheesy communicator. I'm telling you, so many companies are guilty of this. And I'm so grateful because Eric and Maureen are helping us break that down for so many companies to not be that cheesy communicator. It doesn't work. Cash driven. People can see when you're just trying to go for the quick win, get the, like, just come on. You lost your job. Let's go. You can make money. Do not be cash driven. And the third deadly C is being overconfident. Yeah. Yeah. I, I told you so, or just being overconfident. It's the third de de deadly C. How we're going to teach you how to communicate today has everything to do with the word compassion and empathy. Now is a time for you not to be tone deaf to what's happening in this world. Eric and Marina, I think, know this, but we have now come off back to back. April was the biggest month in our company's history. And May is already the biggest month in our company's history. Why? Because of what we are going to teach you in how you need to communicate, as well as how you need to get that message out in front of more people. And so I'm so excited to bring on the gentleman who is responsible for working closely with Marina and Eric. He's also worked closely with, you know, Grant Cardone and Brad Lee and JJ Virgin and Damon John and Michael Hyatt and the list goes on and on. We have not only crafted people's individual talks, we also crafted their team's talks. People like Dean and Tony and many others who've said, I want my team to all say the same thing so duplication actually happens. I'm so excited to bring you who I believe is my secret weapon and thousands of other people's secret weapon, Mr. Pat Quinn. Pat Quinn, you there, buddy? I am. I am. Thanks for the opportunity, Pete. I believe this is such an, an opportunity for everyone watching this right now because the world needs your help. The world needs your help and there are people who have problems and you have the solution to that problem. So I'm excited to be here today. I am Pat Quinn and I actually didn't get my start as a professional speaker. I got my start as a professional magician and I worked magic for 10 years professionally. After that time, I decided I needed to get a real job and so I became a public school teacher and taught high school math for 12 years. During that time, I picked up an advanced degree in how adults learn. So I really bring two things to the table. The first is a little bit of stagecraft for my years of doing magic. And the second is a real understanding of how adults learn. I'm hyper-focused on your audience because I, my goal is not that people would come up to you after you give a presentation and say you're a great speaker or that you'd get a standing ovation. My only goal for every conversation, for every presentation is that people would want to engage with you after that conversation, after that presentation. That's my only measure of success. So I'm hyper-focused on the audience. I've been fortunate enough over the last few years, Damon John, but most of the people that I work with are not professional speakers. Most of the people I work with would never call themselves even a speaker. Most of the people that I work with are business owners, just like you, who want to grow their business, grow their team, and attract new customers, and sometimes they use speaking to do that. Today, I'd like to talk to you about your signature talk. What's a signature talk? A signature talk is how you present yourself, your information 
to others. That now your signature talk is not just for getting up on stages. And you might think, oh, I have a presentation if I ever stand up in front of 20 people. But I actually believe your signature talk is used every single day. Your signature talk is used on the phone. Your signature talk is used in Facebook Lives. Oh, it's used on webinars and on presentations, workshops, and trainings. But more often than not, it's used one-on-one on one across the table from somebody. It's used on a telephone conversation or a Skype conversation. It's used on Zoom. Every time, whether you have three minutes or 30 minutes to present what you do, how you do it, what the next opportunity is for someone, every time you should have a structured signature talk. And so with the things I'm going to share with you today about that type of communication, whether it's one-on-one or one-to-many, whether it's on stage or online, whether it's in your a living room, whether it's at a Starbucks, or whether it's in a big hotel ballroom, the things I'm going to share with you today are not my opinion. If you want an opinion about your speaking, go ask your sister. The things I'm going to share with you are what the research shows from the research of Robert Cialdini, Daniel Pink, Neil Strauss, Scott Adams, what the research shows will cause people to not just want, but need to engage with you after you communicate with them. And so I'm excited to share this with you today. The very first thing you need before we even get started on what you should say, the very first thing you need is clarity on two questions. You need clarity on two questions. First, who is the audience that you serve? And second, what is the problem that you solve for them? Now, let's go at the problem that you solve for them first. A lot of times when I ask people, what problem do you solve for your audience? They don't tell me a problem. They actually tell me a solution or they name a product or a program. I want you to focus on the problem that you solve for your audience. And here's the hard part. I want you to explain it. I want you to say it in the words that the customer would use, that the words that the prospect would use. See, a lot of us have become experts, experts in our own area, experts in our own product. We hang around with other people who work for the same company, and we start to pick up a language, a different language. We stop using words that everyday ordinary people who've never heard of us use, and we start using words that only people who are in the circle know. One of the hardest things for an expert to do is to remember what it was like before we knew all the stuff that we know now. The question I ask is, the night before a new person would meet you, the night before a customer or a prospect or somebody who's never met you before has the opportunity to hear you speak, what were they laying awake at night thinking about? What was keeping them up at night? What were they calling up their best friends complaining about? What were they complaining to their spouse about at the dinner table? And what words did they use to describe it? Because if you can get those words right, and by the way, you'll know you have those words right because the person you're speaking to will immediately start vigorously nodding their head up and down and lean into you. I've seen it happen hundreds of times in rooms, in conversations, but also online, even on Zoom, even on a one-on-one conversation online, people will nod their heads and lean into their cameras when you get the language right. So you've got to pay attention to these words. Because if you get these words right and you spend a little time in the beginning of your presentation saying these words that perfectly describe the problem they're struggling with, then it really doesn't matter what you do in the rest of the presentation. They're going to want to go further with you. But if you get these words wrong, if you don't connect with them on the problem that you solve for them, or you state it in a language that they don't understand, it really doesn't matter what you do for the rest of your presentation. They're not going to want to go further with you because you didn't understand. I've heard it said, spend less time trying to get them to understand you and more time trying to make sure they know that you understand them. That's the first clarity question. What problem do you solve? The second clarity question is, who is the audience that you solve it for? And I know some of you think, I solve this problem for every living human being in the world. But that's actually really hard to write good communication for every living human being in the world. I want you at least in the beginning to narrow down that niche. I want you to narrow down that niche to who would be the lowest hanging fruit. And oftentimes that's a group that you belong to. You know, the first group that I started helping become speakers, become professional speakers, were were teachers because I was one of them. I spoke their language. I knew their problems. They trusted me. I knew them. So oftentimes we wanna go to the groups that we belong to and say, that's our first audience, that's our lowest hanging fruit. 
let's direct all communication to that. And if I grow that audience, that's great, but that should be where I go first. And so once you have clarity on those two questions, what problem do I solve and who do I solve it for? Then you can start looking at your signature presentation. And remember, this isn't just for getting up on stage and speaking. This is for every one-on-one -on -one conversation. This is for every phone conversation. This is for every time you have three people or 30 people in front of you. And this isn't just for you. This is for every one of your team members as well. I wanna show you the four-part story braid framework because most people think about their presentation wrong. Most people, when they start presenting, dive right into their content, right into their products or their opportunity, they dive right into their teaching. And that's a mistake. Your content is one part of your presentation. It's not the most important part of your presentation. So let's look at the four part story braid framework. The first thing you should start with is an opening heart story. The purpose of this is to connect with your audience and you should do this before you teach them anything for their heads. After you do the opening heart story, the next part is the head or the content. This is where you're going to teach them something new something they haven't heard about before. The third part of the four-part framework is the hands, or what we call the, the call to action. This is where you give the audience the next step for them. Every great presentation has a next step. Not three next steps, one next step. A great presentation leads the audience down a path to a single point of decision. Do you want to do this or not? A great presentation doesn't lead the audience down to four options. You could do this next, you could do this next, you could do this next, or this. Now, when you do that, the audience freezes with fear, and doesn't know what to do next, and so they do nothing. A great presentation is like a sidewalk. It leads the audience down a path to a single point of decision. Do you want this or not? But don't stop there. Sometimes people will stop after their call to action and they leave a lot of opportunity on the table. They leave a lot of impact that you could have on the table. I want you to finish your story with an emotional heart story, reconnecting with why you do what you do and reminding them why they want to do business with you. And so in the next few minutes, I'm going to go through each of these four parts and give you a few very specific things that you can do anytime you're communicating to one person or many on the phone, online, or on stage I wanna give you specific things that you can do. Let's start with the opening heart story. You have three things that you need to do in the first five minutes of any presentation or communication. You need to be ordinary, you need to be extraordinary, and you need to show your why. Ordinary means I'm just like you. I've worried about what you've worried about, I've struggled with what you're struggling with. Extraordinary means I've figured it out. Now we all have heard speakers who are too extraordinary, they stand up on stage and say, everything I touch turns to gold. My life is great. I have a private plane. I make $500 million a year. My mailing list, 500,000 people. And at some point, you're sitting there thinking, well, I don't know if you can help me because your life is nothing like my life. I don't have any customers. My mailing list is 21 people, and nine of them have my last name. And so they're too extraordinary. We all have probably also heard speakers who are too ordinary. They stand up and say, hey, I'm just like you. I struggle with what you struggle with. I've got a pile of credit card debt. I'm actually declaring bankruptcy next week. And at some point you're sitting there thinking, well, then why am I working with you? Why, do, why am I listening to you? It is actually the speaker who can do both, who can be both ordinary, I've walked in your shoes, but extraordinary, I've figured out one solution to one problem that you have that will get the most business that will have the larger team, that will move forward the fastest, that will exponentially grow their business through communication. The third thing that you need to do is to show your why. This can't be about money. This can't be about getting one more customer or one more team member. You have to have a reason why this isn't a business, this is a passion, this is a mission that you are on. Now, I believe the fastest and easiest way to be ordinary, extraordinary, and show your why in less than five minutes is through episodic storytelling. Episodic storytelling is not to read me your resume. Episodic storytelling is not to tell me your story like a third party omnipresent narrator writing a book about you. Episodic storytelling is to take us into a room. Take us into a room where we can see what you see, hear what you hear, feel what you feel. 
And when you do that, the audience will become emotionally attached to you and your story in a way that simply isn't possible any other way. And they will want to do business with you for the rest of your life. You know, Amy is a network marketing professional who went through our training. And on one of our live coaching calls, Amy told us her opening story where she tells people that she struggled with her finances for years. We changed her opening story and had her take us into a room. There was a day when she was sitting at her kitchen table. Her three kids were eating their macaroni and cheese with hot dogs cut up in it. And she was trying to pay the bills. And she had a stack of bills that was this high. And she had a stack of money that was this high. She looked at her balance and her checking account and it didn't come close to paying the bills. And she looked around at all three of her kids and just thought, what am I going to do? And she dropped her head into her hands and cried. I've heard Amy tell that story on a webinar and I gotta tell you, it just brings the chat to a halt. You can look if you're on Zoom at other people's faces and they just freeze. And at that moment, that audience will go anywhere with her. Certainly they'll listen to the rest of her presentation, but more importantly, they will want to do business with her. They will want to buy products, they will want to become a distributor, they will want to listen, move forward, and work with her. You can do this. You have a story to tell. And you have a room that you can take us into where we can see what you see, hear what you hear, feel what you feel, and when you do that, whether you're talking to one person, or 100 people. They will become emotionally attached to you for the rest of your life. And they will want to go forward and do business with you. That is your opening heart story. And at the end of it, you want to roadmap the rest of your presentation. You want to say, today, I'm going to teach you this, this, and this. Roadmapping is simply telling them what you're going to teach them as you go forward through the presentation. And here's a pro ninja tip. Oh, did you see it? I just scooby-dooed you. Great speakers, when they have something really important to say, they don't start yelling. Great speakers don't start pounding the podium or saying, you should write that down. Great speakers simply scooby-doo. They look left, they look right, they drop their head about six inches, and everybody leans forward and pays attention. Here's a pro tip. When you roadmap the rest of your presentation, include a time element. Include a time element. Don't just say, I'm going to teach you these three things today. Say, in the next 20 minutes, I'm going to teach you these things today because it'll stop the audience from worrying about how long this conversation is going to have, how long it's going to last. And so the next part of your presentation, the second part of your presentation is the content or actually teaching the audience. We call this the head part of your presentation. Now, I want this part of your presentation broken up into sections. We like three sections of content, three steps that they can take because everybody can remember three things or four things. That's why phone numbers are broken up into three digits or four digits. And here's the key. I want you to offer real solutions to the audience. Real solutions, whether they ever do business with you or not. I actually want you to give them advice, counsel, resources, teaching that will help them solve the problem that we agreed that they had and when we ask you the clarity questions. The problem that when you describe it in your opening story, they all go like this. I want you to give them real solutions to that problem, whether they ever sign on with you, whether they ever become a team member, whether they ever become a customer with your products, give them real solutions. And you want to make sure that you do that with your heart open, giving them your best stuff. See, the type of presentation that doesn't convert is a presentation that only describes the problem. People already know that they have problems. And if you're halfway through your presentation and you're still describing the problem, we have a problem. I want you to give them real solutions so that they can feel like, hey, this person really helps me. Now, some people come to me and they say, Pat, if I give them my real solutions, real help with their problem, why would they want to do business with me? And my question is always, hey, if you don't give them real help, why would they want to do business with you? One more thing that you can do in this section of your presentation is to refer to yourself by your first name in conversation. What, why do you do that? Refer to yourself by your first name in conversation. So I said it just a minute ago, people come to me and they say, Pat, what about this? What if I have a five-step process? 
Well, teach the first three steps. That's the answer. I was taking my garbage cans down to the end of the street the other day, and my next door neighbor took his garbage cans down, and he was yelling across the yard, Pat, is today recycling day? Ooh, there, I did it again. Sometimes I just do it accidentally. Why do you want to refer to yourself by your first name in conversation? You do this to teach the audience so the audience can start rehearsing the next step with you because the next step with you is probably another conversation. If you're going on Facebook Live and you're doing a five-minute Facebook Live, absolutely use this format. Start with a story, teach one thing, give one call to action, and finish with a story. And if you want them to follow up with a conversation, you want, see, as human beings, we don't actually do anything that we don't rehearse in our heads hundreds of times ahead of time. And the first barrier to break in having a follow-up conversation with you is what would I call you? At the, if you get to the end of your Facebook Live and you say, hey, if you want a conversation about this, let me know. They're going to be shocked by, I have a conversation with you. I don't even know what I would call you. But if early in your presentation you say, Pat, what should I do about this? That you're through that barrier and they will immediately start rehearsing having that conversation with you. You want them using most of their headspace not to listen to your presentation. but rehearsing taking the next step with you. That way, when you get to your call to action, it won't come as a surprise, it won't come as a shock. They're actually going to say, I thought you'd never ask. This is the content section of your presentation. And all we want you to do is teach them one or two things that will actually help them. You wanna follow that section of your presentation with the third section of the presentation, which is the hands or the call to action. Great presentations give the audience one specific thing that they should do next. This is the call to action. But let me tell you this, if you get this far in your presentation and this is the first time they're hearing about what they should do next, you've already blown it. That cake is already baked. Instead, I want you to embed the next step up in the content section of your presentation. I want you to do this for two reasons. First, the human mind listens to different types of speech differently. We listen to stories and we don't listen to the details. We listen to content and we take notes on the details. Well, the one thing the human mind can recognize really quickly is sales. And when we're listening to sales, we listen with a completely different mind. We listen with a skeptical mind, a non-trusting mind. And so one of the things I wanna teach you to do in your presentation is to do what most people would do at the end of their presentation in the offer or the call to action. I want you to do that earlier in the presentation when the audience is listening, listening with a trusting, believing mind, not a skeptical, objection-raising mind. This is called embedding. And all I want you to do is tell a story, you do a case study, or give an example of people who've taken that next step. If you're trying to get people to come to one of your team events, you should tell a story early in your presentation about somebody who attended your last team event. If you're trying to get somebody to use your products, you should tell a story early on about a customer who uses your products. And if you're trying to get somebody to join your team and become a distributor, you should tell a story, give an example about somebody who did that. And then the audience will have an opportunity to start rehearsing in their head, taking that next step. So when you get to the call to action, it doesn't come as a shock or a surprise. They actually say, I thought you'd never ask. I've been hoping you'd give me this opportunity because I've been thinking about it for the last 20 minutes. That's why embedding is so powerful because it allows the audience to rehearse the response ahead of time. This is the one thing, I'm, I'm in New York City, I'm on the 12th floor of a skyscraper, Damon John is sitting across the table from me. And he wasn't taking a lot of notes until I got to this part of the presentation and my conversation with him, and I said, you need to start embedding the next step earlier in your presentation. And Damon immediately leaned in, picked up a legal pad, and started writing like crazy. And he started embedding, and the very next time he went out with his presentation, his conversion rate doubled simply because he made that change in his presentation. And so this is the call to action. It'll be shorter than you're expecting because most of what you were going to do in this part of your presentation, you did earlier in your presentation. But don't end with your call to action. And the reason you don't wanna end with your call to action, you wanna add a fourth section to your presentation is because there's two types of decision makers in the world. We want you to add on a closing heart story because there's two types of decision makers, tactical decision makers and emotional decision makers. And if you're only doing a tactical call to action, 
you're missing out on 50% of the impact that you could be having with any audience that you speak to. You, a tactical decision maker makes decisions based on tactics. Here are the details. Here's how you sign up. Here's what it costs. Here's what's next. And if that's all you do, the emotional decision makers will be left high and dry. Now, some people only do the emotional part. They just say, hey, it's going to feel good and you're going to have freedom. And people are like, well, I don't even know what it is yet. What is it? And so you have to do both. The speaker who does both is actually the one who gets both people to say yes to the next opportunity. And by the way, if you sell anything to couples or at any time in your process, someone has to ask their spouse for permission, you should know that most married couples are one tactical decision maker married to one emotional decision maker, and you have to get them both to say yes. So it's very important that you have both a tactical call to action and an emotional closing story so that you maximize the impact and influence you can have on other people's lives to improve this world. When you put it all together, you have a four-part story braid structure. Heart, head, hands, heart. And when you implement this correctly, you are going to see your conversion rate. Whether you're trying to get people to become customers, whether you're trying to get people to take advantage of the opportunity to become distributors or join your team, whether you're going on Facebook or reaching out to people to get them to come to one of your own events, or a company event, or the big next event that you're going to, this is the four-part structure that gets people to take action. They are now and take the next step with you. You know, one of the people, a uh, network marketing professional who went through our training is Jimmy Nelson. And Jimmy said, using this format has finally given me a system that not only lays out my personal story, but it gives me a way to invite people to join my team without being salesy, without being forced, without being awkward. Everything that you want happens with this four-part story braid framework. And Pete, one of the things I know that we've done with Jimmy as well is given him more opportunities to share this message with other people by showing them the opportunity that is available through stages. Yeah, Pat, you know what's amazing about Jimmy is the fact that he first got this talk down. But like I said, we don't want them just rehearsing that in their mirror or practicing role-playing with another distributor in their company, we want them getting that out there in front of more people. And so in the remaining time, Pat, I want to talk about how they can get that out in front of more people and scale their businesses. And so Pat, great job setting the tone, man. And you'll be back with us here to do some coaching on the back end, right? Yes, I will. Awesome. Awesome. Hey guys, so amazing, right? Like, so what you can do is that framework will have you convert better than you've ever converted before, ever, than you've ever converted before. And so I'm gonna give you a quick story at the end, but so this is what I wanna talk about now. Now that you have this talk, we, we gotta get it out in front of more people. You can call this stages, or you can call this sales and marketing. But right now you have a unique opportunity and I wanna give you, I mentioned, we mentioned, Eric mentioned in things that we wanna give you 11 sales and marketing strategies that most network marketing professionals are not using. We like to call these 11 types of stages. And what are those? And I really hope that you will take a screenshot of this because I'm not talking within the network marketing profession. I don't want you to go get on other stages within the network marketing profession. I want you to go out from the network marketing profession because one of the biggest topics that people are looking for on podcasts, on challenges, on webinars, in associations, on online summits. I'm going to talk to you about Haley here in a minute who was on an online summit, YouTube channels, in the media in other people's membership sites, for their masterminds, at their events, events, virtual events. They're asking the question, how do I work from home? What is, makes up a good company? What does that look like? And these people have big, big communities that follow them. And so like the power of these 11 digital virtual stages for you to be on will significantly attract more customers, significantly attract more distributors, and quite frankly, 
do Pat Scooby Doo on you. I know less than 2% probably of network marketers doing this, but the ones that are doing it are the ones who are the top, who are the top money earners because they're going and getting more customers and more distributors before this pandemic took place. But now, but now the fact that this has taken place, one of the top search things online in the digital market is how do I work from home? What makes a great home-based business? Where do I find one? Well, guess who has the solutions to all of that? All of you. All of you. Might be like, yeah, Pete, but you know, there's not that many stages. Tens of millions of virtual digital stages. And the 11 that I showed you right there are so powerful, are so powerful. And I want you to see this because here's an example. This guy named Pat Flynn, who is a good friend of mine, he has a podcast of, of people who are looking to make it. He's had got a podcast called part smart passive income. And every week on his podcast, he has 125,000 people that listen to that podcast. And every week he says a thing called the Pat Flynn effect that when somebody is on his podcast talking about home-based businesses or franchising or whatever it is, their business increases significantly because people will give away a free resource on his podcast. And after they give away that free resource, which is you giving away a free resource, now you're being able to have conversations with them in the way that Pat, Pat Quinn just taught you how to have a conversation. He said, every person who's on my podcast, my pod, my, they, their business increases. Live stream Lance. I love this. Lance goes live. He has 3,000 people live. Why aren't you one of the ones that he's hosting? Because if you went live with him, all of a sudden, you're going to get hit up on you know, Instagram, or you're going to get hit up online, or you're going to get emailed, or, you, or they're going to download a free resource from you. So there is this unique opportunity, and here's the cool thing. You can do it from the comfort of your home. Ladies and gentlemen, those are my four kids, and they run around upstairs, all eight feet running around while I'm on digital online stages from home. All of you have that possibility on a live stream, on a summit, on a podcast, on a challenge, on and I'm talking outside of the industry, not inside the profession, outside the profession. Last year, we were on 100 digital stages in our business, and it generated seven figures for us. Why aren't you on more digital stages? So I'm going to give you a script that allows you to understand how to get on those digital stages. Pat said, you just got to be clear on the problem you solve. You know, the problem you solve is how to, you know, what makes a great home-based business? What do you need to look for in a great home-based business? And as you lay it out, that just matches up with what your company is. Or how do I stay healthy in the midst of this crisis? Or how do I protect my money in the midst of this crisis? Or how do I gain more energy? You know, all, you, you, you all have solutions to problems and people are looking for that content on their digital stages with their communities that they've built that they have no issue if they follow you and have conversations with you as long as you solve a problem for their communities. And so I'm going to show you how to solve a problem for their, I'm going to show you how to win those digital stages right now. Now, this is the campaign that we use. Eric and Marina are very aware of this. We taught the, the, the mastermind more details about this. And in this is 16 tools. I don't have time to teach you 16 tools because I'm still going to coach you today. But I want to give you one tool that you can begin to use to get on digital stages right now and also local local stages when they do come back here in a few months, meaning stages in your backyard. Bible studies or women's groups or couples groups or there's, there's millions and millions of physical stages in your backyard. So right now, use this for the digital. But just know that 
How I built my business is by being on other people's stages when nobody else in the profession was doing that. I'm not talking about our own events. We'll talk about that in a minute. I'm talking about other people's events outside of the profession. So I'm gonna show you, I did a case study. I want you all to hear this because it's really important. We lost four to $5 million of top line revenues um, in March and April from what was lost on our calendar and what we had to uh, cancel and reschedule. And you might've heard me on the front end say, Pete, but I thought you just had a record breaking April and a record breaking May. And the answer is we did because I set out and in 14 days, I went out to win 31 digital stages. Actually, I wanted to win 31 and 31 because this that's how easy it is. And I won 31 in 14 days. No team. So you solo distributor out there that you might like, I don't have a big team or I don't have employees or I don't have anything. I said, I'm not using any of my team members. I'm going to do this on my own. And those digital stages that we went out and won and created 100% offset what we've lost. And so what I want to do is I want to give you one script right here that was the main script that I used to win these 31 digital stages in 14 days. And we're probably 10 minutes away uh, from getting through this content, maybe 20 minutes away. But this is this, the digital stage reach out template. And it's also what you can use to reach out for physical stages. You want to expedite the sales cycle? Do you want to all of a sudden see distributors? And, and, and I'm going to go through this, so keep this up right here, team. You want to see distributors and customers come into your business in one hour, 30 minutes, 15 minutes? Structure your talk like Pat just taught you to and get on in front of one to many. Get in front of one to many or one to one or one to five. And here's how you do it. The first thing is you got to build rapport with them. The second thing is you got to recognize what's going on in the world. The third thing that you want to do is honor them for what they're doing in their community to make an impact. The fourth thing is you want to present the problem that they're facing. The fifth thing is you want to show them the solution. The sixth thing is you want to present a win-win. And the seventh thing is you want to do a call to action. Now, as, as the team, like, write that down. Rapport, recognize what they're doing in this world. Honor the, or recognize what's going on in the world. If, if we're in crisis mode, which that just got added, I started using that because of the crisis we're facing. Honor them for what they're doing in the community to make an impact. Present the problem. Show them solution. Present a win-win. And then a call to action. So watch this. You can take that down. I want to. I want to. I want to pretend that I'm back in 2001 in my first network marketing company that helped get me through college. And let's pretend I'm now in 2020 and I'm in a company. How would Pete use that template? This is how he would use it. If I were reaching out to Pat Flynn, who has a company called Smart Passive Income, this is what I would do to get his attention. Hey, Pat. It's Pete Vargas. I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, so you know what point I'm on. And I just wanna say, I have so many good friends, Greg and John Lee and Amy, and so many incredible friends that talk about the great work that you're doing. And I just want you to know, I'm so grateful. Your podcast was one of the first podcasts that I ever listened to. And Pat, right now, what's happening in our world is so difficult and so tough, and people are losing their jobs. And it's not good, it's not good. And the thing I love about how you're serving your community is you're bringing incredible people as guests to help them understand how to actually create smart passive income in their businesses. And I've listened to episode one, 20, 19, I would actually tell them. And I just want you to know, I've loved some of these episodes and I just wanna honor you for doing that. One of the most searched things online right now, Pat, is how to start a home-based business in this crisis. And most people do not understand how to do that, right? And most people in the world don't understand um, 
or don't have a lot of money. They're losing their jobs. They're losing their income. And there's a lot happening in this world, but everybody wants to know how to do that. And for the last 20 years, I've been building home-based businesses very, very successfully, helping people understand how to do it for a few hundred dollars to a few thousand dollars and literally beginning to create smart passive income. But there's four important things that they've got to understand before they ever choose any home-based business. And I would love the opportunity to be able to chat with your community on how to do that and really make sure that they know how to do that well. So could we hop on the phone for three to four minutes, or can we hop on the phone for five to 10 minutes and have a conversation about that? Whether that's video, whether that's phone, whether that's email, I actually used that on Pat Flynn a year ago for my company, not, not, not this profession, and I won his podcast. 125,000 people six figures from one stage from being in front of his community so i know this is new but the, it's been kind of a secret it's been hush hush and i'm bringing it to the front and the same way i presented this to to eric and Marina and even the, the mastermind group, it's time for this profession because everybody wants to know how do I build a home-based business? Where do I find a good one? And that's where you all are the answers to that solution. 31 digital stages in 14 days. 31 in 14 days. So I'm just blown away. I mean, I'm just blown away. I was so grateful for Haley for, she said, I'm just blown away with how many opportunities I've already had to get in front of different audiences. We've relied so much on Facebook ads and social media, and this is a whole other way to get in other people's ears and into others' audiences that we haven't even thought about. Who's we? This profession. And there's tens of millions of them out there. And listen, if you don't want to go get on those 11, you can also create those 11 in your business. There's never been a greater time for you to do stuff on live or to have your own challenges. We just ran a challenge that I couldn't believe it. We had 151,000 people come into a challenge of ours. But I had friends who just had a thousand people come into a challenge. You can have your own virtual stages. In addition to being on other people's stages, it just takes a, a, a lot longer time to build your own. That's why I'm advocating for you to be on other people's. And watch what this does for distributors as well as customers. The third and final part that we talked about is how do you communicate how do you get on other people's 11 of them or build your own? And the last thing is how do we make sure you scale past the stage? What does that mean? This is what it means. All of you out there right now, whether it's challenges or podcasts or virtual events or one-on-one -on -one calls, three-way calls, virtual, anything, I want you to recruit more distributors, land more customers, fill your team events and fill your company's events and all of those stages that i told you that you can get on they're in the central part of your stage in the middle they're your stage in the middle and what that will do by you being on there is land you more distributors land you more customers fill your team events and fill your company events and companies out there, I hope that you're buying into the virtual economy of doing events because we just did one last week and we crushed it by having a virtual event. So virtual events are alive and well. So you now take to these stages. I want to make sure that when you're on those stages, when you're on those stages, that you actually collect people's information. So if you're on that podcast or you're on that live stream or you're on one of those stages, this is how 
You get customers. This is how you get distributors into your company is you got to give away a free resource. So whether most companies in the profession have plenty of free resources to give away. We give this away when anytime we're on a podcast, we send people to get this gift. Anytime we're in person at a physical event, we have a physical contact card with that same gift in physical contact form. Why is this important? Because when you get on these stages and you give away a free resource, you will see 80 or 90% of people in some cases giving you their information back. Digital stages, that number is lower. Physical stages, that number is higher. But if your if you're lead magnet strikes a chord with solving a problem for them, then they will opt in for it, which will begin to build a major prospect list for you. And here's what I'll tell you to kind of wrap up the scale side of it is now it's time to convert. And here's what I do know that the majority of network marketing companies have in the profession. The majority of them have a beautiful systematic approach to nurture and close your prospects. So I'm not going to talk a lot about that today because Eric, t- Eric and Marina told me how well companies do this. And if you're a company that doesn't have a systematic approach, you need to have one because what we just did is we just opened up the floodgates of amount of prospects that will begin to come in. But now there's just got to be a systematic approach. So when we're on an, a stage, here's what we do. We have a five to seven day process with some emails and some phone calls to land them as customers in our business. This is our actual five day campaign. It incorporates phone, it incorporates email, it incorporates, you know, even the, you, you call it three way calls, we call it like third party validation where the team sends them videos from me if they're trying to bring them into one of our products and services. And so that is the follow up campaign. Here's what begins to happen when we bring this whole system together. You now all of a sudden don't have to rely just on one-on-one, although everything we've taught you today is gonna make all of your one-on-one conversation conversion go up if implemented correctly. But this is the numbers that you'll begin to see. You'll begin to see a little small stage of 100 people and 80 of them becoming prospects. And as you have a systematic campaign, eight of them becoming customers or distributors. That's the power of one small stage. And I'm telling you, the people who get after it from this training and all three parts that we talked about will begin to see their companies exponentially grow. I want to give you one case study before I bring us full circle here. This young man um, was sitting in your seat. And he all of a sudden said, okay, I'm going to go try this. I've never really done this system. This is like Grant Cardone on the front end. He said he's left hundreds of millions of dollars on the table from not implementing this system in his business. Well, Chandler hadn't either. And Chandler went out and he said, cool. Uh, He got on one stage with 27 chiropractors. One stage with 27 chiropractors and nine of them became customers. You see, this is not about speaking. We're not trying to have you be a professional speaker or a personal brand out in the market that gets $2,000 a speaking fee. We're trying to advocate that you become powerful communicators, get your message out in front of a whole lot more people and watch how many customers and distributors come back to your company and you'll way outperform the big speaking fee folks in the world because you're bringing them into something that your companies have given you that's beautiful, which is a product suite. Amazing products and services that you have to offer the world. And now all of a sudden you're not on the left side, you're on the right side because you have products and services. After that one stage 
of 27 people, Chandler Bolt took this really, really seriously. And in, in 2018, he said, with a few hours left in 2018, we just passed the 1 million in revenues generated from speaking on stages this year. In 2017, we generated zero. 1 million was our big goal in 2018. Why? Because he understood how to communicate. And now what we teach around communication couldn't be more important than ever before because of what's going on in our world. And there's never been a greater opportunity for you. Two, he started getting that message in front of a whole lot more people. Yes, he still did one to one or one to two or one to five, but now it was one to 27 or one to 50 or one to 100. And then he had a place, a system in place to capture prospects, follow up with them and build their business and build his business. And at the same time, build their business because he helped them. You see, the great Zig Ziglar said this quote, and I believe this for all of you in this profession. He said, I've never changed someone's life with a speaking gig, but sometimes I do a speaking gig and they buy my cassettes. And if they buy my cassettes, I got a shot at changing their lives. Zig knew it wasn't the stage. And actually, Zig didn't learn this until later in his career. His son, Tom Ziegler, compared his father, compared me to his father. In an email, he said, this young man, Pete Vargas, reminds me of my dad. And when I talked to Tom about this quote, he said, Pete, do you want to know where that quote came from? I said, yeah, I want to know. I want to know for sure. He goes, a lot of people don't know where that quote came from. He said, my dad got testimonials and he divided them. And he had 99 over here and he had one over here. And the 99 said, Zig, you changed my life after I heard you communicate and you bought, I bought your tapes and cassettes, your programs, your products. And the one said, Zig, I heard you on a stage and you changed my life. And Zig Ziglar had an epiphany that it wasn't him communicating that changed people's lives. It wasn't the stage but it was the products and services that came after the stage. But he also knew that you have to be an incredible communicator or else they wouldn't buy your products and services. So that was when Zig late in his career had the epiphany to say, oh, it's not about the stage. It's about the products and services that all of you have to offer after the stage. And so the three parts that we've talked about today in the stage to scale method, the blue one, how the network marketing profession can be world-class communicators. The green one, 11 ways that you can scale your business significantly that a lot of network marketers aren't using today. And the red one, how to actually land more distributors, more customers, and fill your events a whole lot easier from those stages that you get in front of. And so that's what this entire system boils down to. It boils down to three things, one talk, one stage, and one scaling offer. And so I'm going to ask you, and, and I want to know here in a minute, like on a piece of paper where you're writing notes, because here in about 10 minutes, we're going to get into Q&A in about 10 to 12 minutes. But I want to know out of these three, which of the three do you feel is the weakest or the one that you would rate the lowest for you right now. And when we open up the comments in the chat, I'm gonna to wanna to be able to see some of that of what you would late rate the lowest because if you can dial into just one of these areas and focus on one, because trying to leave and implement all three on your own is really not easy. I, we've got 20 plus years between Pat and I, 40 plus years of expertise. And so to try to implement all three is difficult, but to implement one is extremely reality. It's reality. And if you will begin to do this, you will see your business grow exponentially. And so this is what I'd love to do is know which one of the areas that you're going to implement. But the other thing I'd love to do is all across the world today. And you know, we've worked with Eric and Marina. We've also worked with a lot of people in their mastermind. Folks, when they're working with us one-on-one, -on -one, you know, they pay a significant amount. 
but I want to give you an opportunity today to say, hey, can we help implement all three of these in your business in the next six weeks? I would love to be able to help you. And so Eric, myself, and Pat literally have built something amazing for the network marketing profession. We put together a special program to help you grow your business faster. And I just want to show that to you really, really quickly here. And so I won't take a lot of time on here, but I will show it to you really, really quickly. So we have built hey, what can, we call. Can you hold on one second? Yes, sir. Uh, sorry to interrupt. Um, I just want you to know we have a little bit of a technical issue before you get into this. I'm super excited. To, for you to describe what you've done because I know you've never done anything like this specifically for network marketing um, and, and I'm really really pumped for people to be able to hear it we have a technical glitch inside of our uh, uh, inside of this page and there's a link underneath uh, you guys if people click on that link it doesn't open up a new tab it takes them off of this webcast and into what you're about to describe. So I would just ask everybody, please do not click on that link until we're done, until you hear all this stuff, because you're gonna miss what we're talking about. So I apologize for that screw up, but uh, just please don't click on it yet. We'll tell you when, okay? Uh, but Pete, back to you, go ahead. Yeah. 10 minutes, guys, I'll be done here, I'll be done. But listen, it's Stage to Scale Method, the Network Marketing Edition. The Network Marketing Edition. And so this is what we're gonna do in the next six weeks. You're gonna get access to the curriculum immediately today. Immediately today. And we're gonna get building your, your signature talk. Crafting your talk so that you convert more, using your talk every single day, whether you're com communicating in front of a thousand, a hundred, one, one on one, we're gonna help you craft, deliver, and know how to maximize your signature talk, and we're going to get it done. Literally a couple of weeks from now, this will be crafted, it will be built, it will be the greatest marketing tool you have. David finished our program in the fall of 2018. He had no major stages. He went out and had one-on-one -on -one conversations. He had like three of them. Two of them converted and landed $175,000 in business from one-on-one -on -one from one on one $175,000 in business from one-on-one -on -one and help you begin to get on these digital stages on. I've already used my signature talk several times in many different formats. Listen to this. I actually created my own online wellness summit last week and used it there. I've been invited to several podcasts and several summits myself. 
and I used my signature talk and it was just a whole different way of relating to people. Her business grew because of her having a signature talk and taking it to other people's digital stages. That's all gonna be built. And then the third part, the third part of literally scaling past the stage, we're gonna make sure that you are able to scale past the stage and get everything from your collection mechanism to making sure that your conversion campaign is dialed in so that you land more customers, more distributors, and really knock it out of the park. And so it's all five sections of this, the entire curriculum rolled out over the next six weeks. You have lifetime access and literally is a program that at the max people have invested $29.97 just for that program. And you're gonna get access to it today. The network marketing version of this. This has been bought by thousands upon thousands of people across the world. And today we roll out for the very first time the network marketing version of it. But here is why we have so many people complete this because Eric Pat and I said, how do we make sure to help you move faster? Eric knows that only one time a year, Pat and I do live coaching to go along with the curriculum. Only one time a year we do that. And it's not until the fall, but Eric and Marina talked us into this. And so over this next six weeks, as the curriculum rolls out over the next six weeks, Pat Quinn and myself live every week will begin to coach you through every one of the six weeks. So six weeks from now, this is dialed in in your business. One time we charge for the six weeks of coaching and people paid $10,000 just for this coaching. And anybody who's taking action on this is gonna get the six weeks of coaching as well. That's bonus number one. And then bonus number two, and I'm so excited about this, is the second thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna give you the step-by-step -step playbook, all the tools, all the templates, all the resources of how to use digital stages to recruit more people and build your network marketing business. I just created this course for Tony Robbins and Dean Graziosi, and this is only the second time that anybody is getting access to this course. It's literally the step-by-step -step playbook of how I won 31 digital stages in 14 days and how you can do the same. It's a $997 value. And so guys, this course is sold for $29.97. We're including the live coaching to it the step-by-step -step playbook for $997. It's a total value of $13,994. And we're selling, uh, we're offering that, this version of the network marketing edition to you for $1,997. And we know the results this is gonna get in your business. Like we absolutely know the results. And that's why we will put our money where our mouth is. Like we wanna give you a 14 day money back guarantee 14 days from now, your signature talk will be built. It will be built. And so guys, I just want you to know as I bring this full circle, like a couple of years ago, I was on Grant Cardone's stage. And you know all of those people, you know Grant and Steve Harvey and John Maxwell and Sarah Blakely, but who you don't know is that guy, that Mexican on the far right over there, nobody in the auditorium knew who that guy was. That guy was the best kept secret. And a lot of you feel like, man, I know I got something for the world, but I wanna understand how to get it out there bigger within my company. And what I'm telling you is we've just given you the entire curriculum, coaching, and support to be able to do that. And that guy on that stage that day, two years ago from one stage who nobody knew in that auditorium generated over $2 million in revenues from his business in one stage. I'm not saying you're gonna generate $2 million, but what would eight new recruits, 
eight new distributors, recruited distributors mean to your business? What would eight new recruits mean to your business? Like that's one stage communicating well, or that's 10 conversations in the new format that Pat gave you. And so we're excited. I'm so grateful that Eric has had us today. You have two options. You can take everything you've learned, which Pat and I taught for 75 minutes, 80 minutes, and we're making the offer in 10 minutes. So 90% of this was teaching. You can take everything you've learned and implement it or move fast with Pat, myself, and my team and allow us to help you get this implemented in six short weeks. In six short weeks. I'm proud of all of these people we've worked with. I'm honored to have worked with Eric and Marina as well. But what I want you to know is the people I'm most proud of are the ones that you don't even know their names, but they're making a great impact across this world. Our class last year was on 47,000 stages and saw a lot of business come into their businesses. And I believe that this class from this training will be on a whole lot more. And so as I wind down today, there's a couple of things that I want to say. Um, we've sold this program right here for the last several years. We've sold this program for 1997. But what we want to do, like it's a program that we've sold for 1997 and we've sold it thousands of times. But because we're rolling out the network marketing edition of it, um, we are going to offer it literally for a couple of days for $1,497. We're going to offer it for a couple of days for $1,497. We haven't rolled this out with the live coaching in this at this low a price ever, ever actually, ever with the live coaching. And we're going to do it to roll it out to you guys. There's a one pay option. There's a six pay option as well. And then what we want to do to really or in your organization to be able to use this as your communication tool to make sure that duplication happens because everybody's saying the same thing. The only thing that will change is their opening story and their closing story. And so Jimmy said when his team started using this in their company um, that they truly saw the duplication process begin to happen because of people plugging in their story, but everybody's saying the same thing. And Eric and Marina have given a very generous bonus away as well, which is the Les Brown Mastermind recordings as well, that, that they did this. It was a several thousand dollar event, but it's from a mastermind with Les Brown for those of you that one pay, we're also going to include that as well. So guys, as I wind down today, go to go.networkmarketingpro.com. Go.networkmarketingpro.com. Would love to call out a lot of you out there. Um, we're making it a limited time offer of $14.97. You will not see it that low ever again with the live coaching. Ever again with the live coaching. And so you can do the one pay and there's a couple of extra bonuses to do that, or you can do the six pay. And even with the six pay, you're getting the six weeks of coaching money back, you know, guarantee 14 days. And so this is what I want to say to, to wrap us up today. A lot of you know that I've shared my story about my pops. My dad several years ago, got a second chance to be the father that he so desired. And that's actually my little brother. And the first time that I went home to meet my little brother, my dad, as I was leaving, I saw something different in my pops. And as I was leaving my dad's house, meeting my little brother for the first time, my dad walked me out to the car and he said, I want you to know that you'll always be my little boy, but I feel like JT is my second chance to get to do things right. And I thought to myself, wow, my dad today is the greatest father and the greatest grandfather to my kids. And that all happened because of one person who is bold enough to communicate their message on a stage. And last year, my dad heard that message on the biggest stage of my life. And he was in tears as I got to honor 
the incredible father and the incredible grandfather that he is today because of one person sharing their message. I'm so grateful for this lady right here who was the one that introduced me to this industry. Lori was the one that introduced me to this industry when I had just had a repossessed car and I couldn't figure out how I was going to pay for my college education. She had a conversation with me and she had a conversation that wasn't cheesy, that wasn't overconfident, that wasn't cash driven, that was compassionate. And she introduced me to a profession that changed my life 20 years ago. And today we're at a day in time where the greatest opportunity in the history of the network marketing profession exists if you do things right. And so we are excited to help hundreds, thousands of people within this profession that is near and dear to my heart, go do it right and literally get their message out to the world. And so what we want to do is we want to take some Q&A today. I know that they have um, the slide as well. Go to go to go.networkmarketingpro.com. There's a one pay. There's a six pay. And Eric, I'd love to hear some of your thoughts today as well. As you chime in, you've gotten to see our work firsthand. And yes. as you chime in today, before we go into some question and answers today. Well, yeah, I, I'm, and actually the, the chat box was overwhelmed with too many people um, uh, posting comments. So I, I pulled some questions. I have some questions, but I do want to give you um, a couple thoughts first. I just think that all business is conversation. And if you find a way to communicate effectively with people, and there's different audiences. It's funny because you've been talking primarily about prospect audiences, getting on other stages to, to find more customers and, and, and more distributors. And your framework works incredibly well for that. But there's two other really, really big audiences uh, inside of our profession that are very important. So yes, learning how to, to communicate effectively with your framework to get better results without being cheesy and pushy and salesy uh, is vitally important, yeah? Second audience is your team, your existing team. How do you get them to take the next step? How do you get people who are inactive to get active? How do you get people who are living under their potential to step into their potential? How do you get people who weren't gonna come to your convention to come to your convention? How do you get people who aren't using the products to use the products. All of these things that happen every single day. Get people to face their fears, get people to use the tools, get people to attend the Zooms, whatever it happens to be. So the same framework works for that. And then the third group is kind of your peers and your company. Your ability to communicate with your company and effectively help them understand what's happening in the field or communicate with your peers cross-line different types of people in order to be able to have a more unified um, organization or you more unified leadership. So the, all these audiences are big and important and your framework works for all three. And Marina and I have been using this. This is pretty new to us because frankly, I'm a teacher, you know, so I just go start teaching. And, and when I reverse engineer what works, it's when I do bring the heart in. I bring the stories in. I, I, you know, because I'll tend to do what, what Pat said you're not supposed to do. I'll give people too many options. You can do this, you can do this, you can do this, and here's them, try this and try this, and then there's 15 options later, everybody's just like, I'm out. So getting to a simple call to action in every single circumstance, the simple call to action to get people to attend an event, the simple call to action to get people to, to <clears throat> use your product, the simple call to action to get a person to attend a Zoom, whatever happens to be inside the team, outside the team. I would also say how much of a fan I am of coaching. I believe coaching is like a time machine. And where you step into the time machine and you're a year smarter without being a year older. I mean, all we have is time. So how do you get, how do you get better than that? 
to be a year smarter or three years smarter or five years smarter. I mean, Pat, how long have you been studying this stuff? How long? <laughs> For 21 years. 21 years. So 21 I, get years. To, I get to suck all that stuff out of your brain in six weeks and I don't have to take the 21 years to do it? I mean, how, how expensive is 21 years of research? Uh, that I have to figure out on my own versus just plugging in and just pulling it out of you. So I just rather pull it out of you, save the time. You know, I, I'm going to be too old 27 years or 21 years, or whatever, or be able to do this stuff. The other thing that I find is cool with this in communication and, and persuasion and influence is, and the reason why we're so much better than Dale Carnegie, you know, because if somebody goes and joins Dale Carnegie and they're going to go give a talk into their little Dale Carnegie, uh, you know, networking group, whatever. In network marketing, we have so much opportunity to rehearse and practice. We practice on our team. We practice with prospects every single day. And with the practice, we get better and we get better, we get better, we get better. Some people like, they want to be an entertainer, but there's no opportunity to entertain anybody. You know, so they're just sitting in their house entertaining themselves. So they have no, they have no stages to get on. Our, our stages are all built in to our profession. Yeah. So it's so cool. Um, so let me see. Uh, and I would also say, if you're going to be involved in this network marketing profession, <clears throat> when I figured out how to create a signature talk, how to practice it, how to master it, how to tell my story, um, my confidence went through the roof. Mm -hmm. And when my confidence went up, I took more action. When I took more action, I got better results. When I got better results, it built my confidence even more. And it was this virtuous cycle that led me up to become a network marketing professional. So I would just say, if you're going to be involved in network marketing, just get this figured out. You know what I mean? You don't need to crawl for the next 21 years. You don't need to crawl for the next 21 months. Just get it figured out. Get the experts. I mean, I, I, I saw a meme. Maybe you guys have seen this meme on, uh, on social media during this, this global crisis. Uh, and I, I will paraphrase, but basically it's, if you don't come out of this crisis with new skills, you're thinking about this all wrong. Basically, you need to go into this and leave this with a new set of skills. And I think this is a great opportunity. I'm so grateful that you guys have been willing to make a network marketing version of what you do and to make it so inexpensive because, you know, normally for this type of coaching, it's really, really expensive. So thank you for doing that. Um, do you guys have any comments to, to what I just said there before I get into some questions? Because I got a bunch of questions and I don't know how much time you have but I've got one, two, three, four, five, yeah. about six or seven questions. So any comments? Perfect. Yeah, we'll do, we'll, do the seven, yeah. we'll do the seven questions. But what I'll say, Eric, really quickly is the reason why, and by the way, the 14-day money-back guarantee doesn't start today. It starts after the two weeks. And we want you to go through the first two weeks, like not even a question, because two weeks from now, every person will have their signature talk dialed in. So now anytime that you communicate for three minutes or five minutes or 15 minutes or 20 minutes, one to one or one to many, done for you, you. will see no, the top to bottom, top to bottom two weeks. So it's the first two weeks of the program, which is actually three total weeks from now. And so that one skill, that one skill that we cover in the first couple of weeks will exponentially grow people's businesses. So yeah, man, that's what I would say. Pat, any thoughts from you? I, I think any network marketing professional can use this not only for themselves, but for their team. And I just think of the effect of having all the distributors on your team having the skill as well. This is going to be something that makes replication just such a such a step by step system. I think Jimmy Nelson called it paint by numbers. I mean, this system works. It's been replicated again and again and to, to use it to grow your business. This is why we said it's going to grow your business exponentially. All right, so here's what I'm going to recommend. And I apologize for the link being all messed up underneath this. If you click on that link, it's going to take you off and you're going to miss all the Q&A and the, the kind of live coaching we're doing. 
Uh, at the end of this, you can click on the link. It'll take you straight to this offer. Um, this is only available for a few days at, the, at this price. I'm, like I say, I'm really grateful, guys, that you're doing this. Um, if you want to look at that while we're doing the Q&A, go to go.networkmarketingpro.com. Go.networkmarketingpro.com. And that will um, take you directly to it. And you can check that out while we're doing the Q&A. Okay, ready? Uh, and I will throw the, this out to either one of you. Um, a lot of people, well, I'll just ask the questions that are written. I, the person asked, I'm just starting my network marketing business or I'm new to my network marketing business. Should I wait until I'm more established before working on my signature talk? Pat, I'm going to start with that because I love that that's the first question. Because, hey, Eric, in the midst of this pandemic, in the midst of everything that goes on, I have this figure of speech or I have this saying that says, you strip everything away from my business, don't take my signature talk. Because if I have my signature talk, I'll build my business all back up in a heartbeat. And here's what I would tell you guys on that. You're like, oh, that's so cruel. You would get rid of your team. Yeah, I'd get rid of my team because if I don't have my core message or my core talk dialed in, my team doesn't have it dialed in. So they would be the second to last thing. My signature talk would be the last thing. You let me have that and I'll build it all back up again. And what's happened in the midst of this pandemic, Eric, is the fact that that actually became reality, not just for me, but for many business owners across the world. I literally saw millions of dollars of top line revenues go away 40 days ago. And we got really clear on our message and our talk that we were taking to the market. And we've literally had record breaking months in the month of April and the month of May. So somebody starting in business, what I could tell you is that's where I started my business four years ago, but that's also what I had to re shift to and re pivot to again, 30 to 40 days ago. So I don't believe there's a greater skill set or a greater tool that you can have than that signature talk. Pat, I don't know what you would add to that. Yeah, whether you're just getting started, like this is day one, or whether you've been at it for a little while and you haven't got the results that you were hoping to get, or you're somebody whose business has grown incredibly and you've got a big team and big revenue coming in, every time you stand up and communicate, every time on the phone, online or on stage, one-on-one -on -one or one-to-many that you communicate and you don't have your presentation structured like this, you're leaving money on the table, more importantly, you're leaving impact on the table and you're leaving people behind. Why would you want to do that? The, from the very beginning is when your communication is the most important. And so I would definitely work on the signature talk really early in your business. So let me, uh, <coughs> I'll tell you a quick story. When I, when I was first involved, uh, what I, I, I was not giving the presentation. I didn't learn the words. I didn't, I, I would bring my prospects in front of somebody else and they would give the presentation. Or I would introduce somebody to a video and have the video give the presentation. You know what I mean? Using third party tools. And eventually my team needed me to be able to be their third party tool and to be the, story, you know, the person telling the story. So I, I, I kind of intuitively did what you guys are going to help people do. I did it on my own though. I took the top earner and I scripted out the presentation. I read my own voice, read it from my, you know, I had it on paper, read it into a recording device. I listened to it in my car a thousand times. And because I'm an introverted person um, and the idea of these extroverts out there, you know, being the life of the party and telling the story, I'm not that person at all. But I, I kind of tricked my mind like I was an actor learning, learning a little one person play. And once I figured that out, I, I mean, my, I, I'm still introverted. I still lose energy in a crowd. I still have to psych myself up. But I guess I'm saying that to ask the, the question, if a person says, I'm, I'm, look, I'm an introverted person. I would rather be a behind the scenes person. I, I would, I, you know, I'd rather, I'm, I'm more comfortable if somebody else tells the story. I get nervous in front of people. I'm scared to death. Uh, this idea of stages makes me want to throw up. Um, even though I understand the, the power of, of it, it's scary to me. 
Um, what do you tell a person who's nervous or introverted or scared or, you know, anxious about this whole idea, even if they can, can sense that it's going to make them money? Yeah, I'll start off every time, Pat, and we'll, we'll let the stronger person close off, you know, which is you, you know. So, uh, the, hey, Eric, what I would say to you is that my wife is starting her business and she is extremely introverted. And she's been really uncomfortable with telling her story and, and her message that she has for the world. And what I would tell anybody is if they kind of default that off, they're, they're limiting the ability and the opportunity that they have within their businesses. However, what has happened is my wife has worked one-on-one -on -one with Pat Quinn. And when people are working one-on-one -on -one with Pat Quinn, Eric, you guys know this, it's 20, 30, 40,000 dollars that people are investing that's not like bs that's true real money sometimes six figures to come build it out for their entire teams and so when my wife started working one-on-one -on -one with her with him she's like wow the fact that i have structure to this and i don't have to be pete the extroverted pete who my husband is i can be me within the framework because the framework lets an introvert be an introvert lets an extrovert be an extrovert but what it does is it gives structure and now all of a sudden my wife is practicing it low stakes like one to a few one to more and she's starting to get really comfortable with it because she has structure to it now all of a sudden that fear has begun begun to go away and so that what i would tell introverts is that as you get this structure that will happen in the next 14 days in the next two weeks um it becomes powerful what it will do for your business pat what would you have to say well one of the most common questions i get is do i work with actors and actresses and the answer is no actors and actresses are actually doing the opposite of what i do actors and actresses are presenting and trying to be somebody who they're not I do just the opposite. I help people come become authentic and transparent in their communication. And what I would say to a person who's afraid to speak or has been nervous speaking in the past or is an introvert, like I'm an introvert, what I would say to them is you don't have to be the smartest person in the room. You don't have to be the best speaker in the room. You don't have to do it without the ums and the ahs. All you have to be an expert on is your own story. That's the beauty of this format. You only have to be an expert on your own story. And nobody knows that story better than you do. And if you, an are, if you are an introvert listening to this, this profession needs more introverts sharing their stories because there is a whole world of people who have this opportunity in front of them and don't think it's for them because the only people they see standing up and speaking appear to be extroverts. And so to, to have an introvert, to have somebody who's shy, to have somebody who never viewed themselves as somebody who was worthy of standing up and speaking, telling their stories, that's just gonna grow this profession, grow your teams, grow your business, and have an impact on a larger number of people. Yeah, I would agree with you. I, I will tell you, the um, it worked for me. It worked for me. I still have to psych myself up. You know, when I'm going to go do a talk or even for this today, I've got to, you know, get myself emotionally and mentally prepared to be able to do it afterwards. I'm going to feel a little heavy. I'm going to feel a little, you know, uh, post presentation mode. Uh, and if any introverts uh, um, have been in presentation mode, they know what, what I'm talking about. Um, what, what do you say if a person says, you know, this sounds great, but I don't feel like I have a good story. I, I just... Uh, you know, all these other stories are, are powerful. Pete, yeah, your story is amazing. Pat, your story is unbelievable. Good, good for you. But I'm just kind of normal. I don't really have anything interesting. Um, what do you say to a person who's kind of cautious uh, about, or I shouldn't say cautious, um, insecure about the power of their story? Pat, I'll default to you because we both think the same on this. Yeah, that's a, that's a, sometimes we have this thing called story envy. And here's what I tell people. I coach uh, two different people who've been in space. They're astronauts. I coach six different Olympians. I coach, obviously, people who have television shows and best-selling books. And I coach a guy who climbed to the top of Mount Everest. And when he tells that story about climbing to the top of Mount Everest, how many other people in the room can relate to that story? not one because nobody else has done it. 
I also coach a guy who tells a story about arguing with his wife about whether the toilet paper should come out over the top or under the bottom. And when he tells that story to an audience or just to one person, uh, how many other people can relate to that? Everybody in the room. What if we judged our stories, not based on how many people came up to us afterwards and said, wow, that was an amazing story. What if instead we judge the stories that we tell based on how many people come up to us and say, that same thing happened to me. I believe your ordinary stories, your stories about day-to-day -day life, your stories about the things that happen in every marriage and every family and every person as they try to figure out paying their bills and managing life, I believe those stories are your most powerful stories because the highest number of people possible can come up to you and say that same thing happened to me or I was just thinking that the other day. So to the person who's saying, I'm kind of normal, my stories are kind of like everyone else's stories, I'd say you have the most valuable stories in the world. My most valuable story is a macaroni and cheese story. You know why it's my most valuable story? Because every time I tell it, people want to come up to me and talk to me about macaroni and cheese. They want to tell me their recipe, complain about the brand that I recommend, talk to me about Paula Dean. All they want to talk about is macaroni and cheese. You know what I call those people? Clients. They're clients. <laughs> That's what they are. When you come up to you, when they I come up you to you say, afterwards. You know what I call those people? Mac and cheese people. That's what I thought you were going to say. No. no. When somebody wants to come up and engage, with you after the fact, they're customers, they're team members, they're your distributor, they're taking the next step. That's exactly yeah. what you want. So here's here's the thing. I, uh, um, you guys presented a lot of value in this offer that you're making and I hope everybody takes advantage of it because we as a profession need to get better and less spammy and less uh, annoying and less cliche filled um, in, in how we present the opportunity because we win when it comes to reality, but we overhype it. We over exaggerate. We do all this kind of, you know, annoying stuff. Everybody sees it a mile away and everybody's already throwing you objections in their mind, even if it's not verbally within five seconds of a standard network marketing, um, presentation. So I love the value of of what you're putting in the course materials, right? But the most amazing part about this is the done for you six week coaching in my opinion, because <clears throat> we had people in our next level mastermind get coached by you guys. And they're like, they're blowing my phone up during the coaching. They're saying, Pat is like the speaking whisperer. I mean, he's, he can help anybody craft a story. The thing that, that I just want you to confirm Every, anybody who gets this, you're going to create their signature talk with them. That at the end of this experience, they're going to have it created and you're going to help refine it over the course of the six weeks. Is that right? Yeah, Eric. So what we're doing, which is beautiful, is I'm, I'm in this with you, bro. Like this is kind of like those folks that adapt who are a part of this first class are going to get things that no other future class in the industry in the profession will get like no other class and that that's true because you go like you go all in with that first 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 group and so what happens is these six weeks we're gonna we're gonna tackle you know there's six major modules and we're gonna tackle all of the modules through those six Can you weeks. tell me what the modules and are yeah, so week one is getting clarity on the problem you solve and who you serve. Week two is how to design your signature talk as well as maximize your signature talk one-to-one -one and one-to-many. And so what we do is we come re we really bring the curriculum to life in those modules. And then, and then what we do is we coach in the midst of those modules and we'll actually have every single person go submit their three-minute version of the talk where we will begin to give feedback and insight in a private group that I didn't even talk about. Week three is how do you get this um, out in front of more people now? How do you actually get it out in front of more people? Um, that's what week three and week four are all about. And we're going to practice actually getting it out in front of more people. So we're not just helping them craft their talk. We're now helping them get that talk out in front of more people. And then week five and six are all about how do you, how do you use that to recruit more distributors and more customers into your business? And once again, we're mapping it out, using the templates, perfecting it, going deeper into it with them. So six weeks of hands-on coaching from Pat Quinn and myself 
not, not, not somebody else. It is us. And then we're, we're recording all of that and they're getting lifetime access to all of that coaching as well. Okay, great, and so great, we're great. completely committed to tr- helping work. We're, we're completely c- committed to transforming the profession as well, because what I didn't tell you at the beginning was that young lady who started with, what if I could show you a way to lose weight and make money? I'm like, Oh my God, that cliche is still being had 20 years later. Like I heard that. And all of a sudden in, in two days, the same thing that's going to happen the next two weeks, she came out and she said, since I've been a young girl, I've struggled with my weight and I've been super sensitive to it. And I've never been able to figure out how to get the weight off. And finally I came across something that allowed me to be able to do it. And now all of a sudden, just sense the difference in the power between that and the old cheese ball cliche. Like we believe with what we can do from communication and then, then, Not until they have that down, then getting it out in front of a whole lot more prospects. We believe that we can do something in this profession um, alongside of you and Marina that is going to really be big. And this first group is going to get that hands-on experience that that future groups, Eric, um, most likely won't get as much of. And so we'll graduate at the end of that. We'll actually have a graduation ceremony at the end of this too, Eric, for everybody to celebrate the successes that we've gotten these six weeks. Very cool. So if somebody wanted to try and figure this out on their own, um, how long would it take them to to do this? Let's say they're really committed. To master this, six, I would say six, six months, six months to twelve months. No, not to master to get really solid at it. Not to master it, but six months to twelve months to try to figure it out on their own. If they were fully committed, all in, um, probably six to twelve months to get good at it. Mastery. Could they do it without years? Is, could could yeah, without without the coaching, could they do it just you know by buying books and stuff and figuring it out? Or does, do, do these books exist? Yeah, I think I think they could do it. I think I think they could do it on their own for sure. And the best story I have for that is I'm I'm with my son down here. We're going fishing today, Eric, actually later on today after mm-hmm. I get done with the big interview later today. We're going fishing. Hey, 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 this um, is the big went, interview. He wanted Tony's to learn fly fishing fiddle. a year ago. Come on. Oh, no, dude, this is, this is the big tone, interview. Right? This Come is top. No, I have two for you. Hey, this is too, there's too big. Well, this is an interview. This is teaching, baby. This is the biggest teaching we've ever done here. But what I, but this, this was important. A year ago, we went to go get fly fishing lessons. We got a 60 minute lesson. They gave us everything in those 60 minutes. And Keaton and I could go and implement it ourselves. I asked them the question. I see that you have a package up there that will allow me and my son to do it faster. How much is it and why should I do it? And his answer is profound for anybody in this profession. I want you to hear this. He said, well, here's the price. I'm like, whoa, really? Is that for two of us or one? He's like, no, that's per person. I was like, okay, it's a big investment. But he said the three things that we're going to help you do, you will literally be able to do them on your own in two months. And if you try to figure it out on your own, it could take you two years to do it. And this is what I envision in my mind okay, it could take me two years, but six months into this, I'm, I might give up on the process because of trying to tie a line or try to cast the hook or trying to like figure it out all out on my own. I could do it. I had the power to do it. I could go read a few more books, watch a few more YouTube videos, but I saw myself giving up on it within the next two weeks. I took my credit card out and literally in two in three sessions, we were able to figure things out that would have taken us years to do on our own. It's the power and that's of what a I coach. say to everybody. Yeah, it's the power yeah. of a coach. It's the power of a mentor. It's a time machine. You step into it, you pay a little bit of money, and you're six months smarter, 12 months smarter, two years smarter uh, without being two years older. I mean, who? it's just the craziest thing in the world to me. Um, the biggest question I get right now is... How do I go out there and communicate without appearing to be insensitive in these difficult times where so many people are laid off, so many people are stressed out, so many people are freaked out by the news and and everything else and stay at home orders and should we go out, should we not go out, should we get on a airplane, should we not do that? So they're they're stressed out and, and a lot of people in network marketing are insecure about 
Should I even call anybody right now? Should I even be talking to anybody right now? Am I being uh, like an ambulance chaser trying to take advantage of this circumstance? And mind you, March and April were the biggest two months in network marketing history that I'm aware of. In my 30 plus years, I've never seen anything like what's happening right now. Never in my life. Record growth in every single direction. Um, it's just unbelievable uh, what's happening. So what would be your response to people who are feeling a little insecure about uh, talking to people during this crisis? Pat, I'll, I'll start and then let you go. And all I would say, guys, is, is that opening heart determines all of that. That opening heart of the Story Brave framework literally sets the tone for people to put their guard down. Because in that opening heart, what, what will happen literally within the first two weeks is you're going to figure out that story that's going to have people's guards go down and want to engage in conversation with you. And that's the key. So for me, um, 40 days ago, I had to make a decision to say, I want to be transparent about what's happened in my business. Because if I'm in transparent, all of a sudden people relate to that transparency and say, yeah, I'm there with you. But I also wanted to paint the picture, that's the ordinary, but then I also wanted to paint the picture of the extraordinary that we were gonna change this in our business too, or that we had a solution to changing that ordinary. And so that opening heart story that all of you will begin to communicate with and communicate in the right way, implemented correctly, um, becomes the key to the empathetic um, sensitivity uh, being felt and the wall going down. And so that is the key, Pat, is those first couple of minutes and those first couple of words matter so much. And there are tons of people that are looking for it right now, but they also have their guards up. And, and within a couple of minutes, Pat, people can bring those guards down. Yeah, Pete, one of the questions we've been asking is, do you think people have more problems now than they did 60 days ago or fewer problems? And when we ask that question, every single person that you and I ask it to says more problems. People have more problems now, which is why I always go back to what problem are you solving for people? You have products and services that your company offers. What problem do they solve? You have an opportunity to join your team and become a distributor. What problem does that solve for people? And if your heart isn't on getting one more customer or on getting one more distributor, but your heart is on, I help people solve a problem that they have. Now is the time where you should boldly go out and say, it would be selfish of me to keep this from you in this time of need. It would be unkind of me to keep this from you in this time of need because I'm sitting here with a solution to a problem that you have. Why should I keep that secret? Why wouldn't I go out and share that? And, and Eric, you talked about talking to your team. Your team might be struggling right now too. And so communicating to your team members effectively using the four part story brain framework allows you to do that in a way that shares your story and grounds it in taking the next step and solving a problem for your team members as well. And so if you ground yourself in, I'm gonna serve others, I'm gonna help others solve a problem not that I'm going to push products or push opportunity, but I'm gonna solve problems. People aren't sitting around looking for products or looking for opportunities. People are sitting around with problems right now. Help them solve their problems. And you can do that boldly, confidently, and honestly to not do it is selfish in my mind. Yeah, I love that. Uh, another question we got asked is, I can see how using a signature talk will help me bring people into my network. Can it be used for anything else? Yeah, I love that question. Of uh, Man, it can be used for everything, but I don't want to get into all of that. Eric, you mentioned it. It can be used one-on-one. -on -one. Our folks use it one-on-one -on -one for phone calls. It can be used for bringing prospects into your business. It can be used for motivating your teams. Like if you, if team leaders would dial into this and the, you know, dozen people that spent a couple of days with Pat, Eric, from your, your mastermind, um, team leaders, you can, you can communicate to your teams. You can communicate to your companies. And then I don't want to go off on a tangent, but you, you can be using it in your homes. You can be using it everywhere. So it's something that can be used online, offline, customers, prospects, 
you know, downline, I mean, teams, whatever. Um, yeah, Pat, it, it, it's something that we incorporate into all aspects of our business right now. I think there's one other benefit to speaking and speaking well uh, that a lot of people don't see, and that is that w the person who stands up and speaks, teaches, does the content, actually helps people solve problems, is elevated in other people's eyes. They're viewed as a bigger expert. You know, I got my start in education. Our district had 16 principals, but one of the school principals was the one who always stood up and presented to the teachers. And over time, that principal's school got the best teachers. Why? Because other teachers thought, I want to work for that person. That person is, must be smarter than everybody else, must have more solutions because they're the ones who are always presenting. When there's a lot of people viewed equally, the one of them that stands up and speaks, the one of them that presents content or information in an effective way, rises above the others in the minds of other people. And if you want your business to grow faster than others, if you don't want to be looking at people in front of you, but looking back and seeing others behind you, this is, this is the way to do it, is to stand up, take that stage, and deliver great content in a structured way that we show you exactly how to do in the next two weeks. Well, and, and guys, listen, um, before we wrap up, I just want to say a couple things. Number one is we're going to be sending out a replay link to everybody who registered. But if you're watching right now, or if you have team members that you'd like to watch this, you can send them for a short period of time to live.networkmarketingpro.com. Live.networkmarketing, no, is that right? Live yeah, live.networkmarketingpro.com. And that will take you to the replay of this event immediately. Okay, live.networkmarketingpro.com. You can send that to your teams right now. Um, second, uh, when, we're, when we finish here, you can either click on the link that's on this page or go to go.networkmarketingpro.com to be part of this first class, to be part of this special group that's going to get the, the personal coaching from these two uh, rock stars and accelerate your learning. Get this over with. Figure it out. Um, you know, put it in your rear view mirror, at least on the fundamentals. You can master it as you move forward, get better and better and better, but at least get a, a foundation of competence because this is the centerpiece, the centerpiece of everything in business. If you learn how to communicate, if you learn how to persuade, if you learn how to educate in an effective way, you never have to worry about money for the rest of your life. You just never have to worry about it. So I'm, I'm really grateful, guys, that you're willing to do this. I'm grateful that you're capable of doing it. I'm grateful that you lowered the price so significantly from your other programs um, to make it more uh, affordable for people who are serious about building their network marketing business. And um, I know Maureen and I, and Maureen is sitting behind the camera, uh, we're both looking forward to going through this together ourselves because we're constantly trying to improve our communication abilities. And to those of you who are watching, I hope you step up into your commitment to your communication abilities, okay? So um, I hope you got value from this couple hour conversation. Um, hope you share it with other people. And uh, looking forward to the incredible stories that come out of this. But do yourself a favor and go to the link. Get yourself signed up for this. Be a part of it. It's going to be historic. It's going to be special. And I think um, it might be a bold to say, but I believe that this group will do more to improve the image of network marketing around the world than any group ever created or ever assembled in network marketing history. We all have an important mission, which is to improve our image. Mm. And uh, that comes from better communication. Because it, when it comes to truth, we win. We just have to change the perception game. And we do that through being a better communicator. Okay, so Pete Vargas, Pat Quinn, thank you so much for your contribution today. Thank you so much for bringing value to our community. We appreciate you very, very much. Enjoy your fishing. Enjoy your interview with, uh, with my buddy, Tony. Tell him hi for us. And, um, and uh, oh, one last question. When does the coaching start, the six-week coaching? 
Yeah, Eric, actually, so the next few days, and I think this is so, I think, I think one of the things that I want people to realize is like, we're committed to this profession. Like we're super committed to this profession so much. So, and a few folks might've thought we were crazy, not Eric and Marina, but we, we decided to actually lower the price by $500. And so that price goes up. I don't know in a few days, uh, in the next few days, because next week, we begin the coaching process. Like we're ready to get this baby next kicked Monday, off right? and started. Yeah, next Monday is when the first piece of the curriculum rolls the out. So curriculum rolls out at the end of the week. And then at the end of the week, we coach to the curriculum, Eric. So start the and week. And if somebody, we'll get, happens, as soon if as somebody we, happens to see this after that fact, they, they, they everybody will have, they, people can get caught up and they, they'll have access to that coaching for a lifetime, right? Lifetime access, that's exactly right. All right, fantastic. All right, guys, I appreciate you. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you got value here. I know I did. I got page, pages full of notes uh, um, with my two questions and my ordinary and relatable and extraordinary, my why and my two elements, uh, or my time element and my call to action and my reach out scripts and all the stuff. I'm good to go. I'm improving myself. Um, and I'm looking forward to the course personally. Um, and I'm looking forward to what it's going to do in the profession. Gentlemen, thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Uh, see you inside of this incredible course and uh, make it a great day. See you later, everybody.